All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there. Just like you, just like me. All right, I'm promoting this and I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name. Eric Lovra, Eric Lavra. Um, if you like Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and the Birds, Twilight Dream is fantastic. There is one song that you can check out called Dream About You. I have the entire album, and you can check who the drummer is on this. It's um, Dean Castronovo. It says, like, drums extraordinaire. That's just, like, far better than regular drums, okay? So if you want to hear drums extraordinaire right here, and you hear a lot of twang, a lot of jangle, jingle and jangle, and if you like that sound, and yes, it's derivative, and I like derivative, plagiarism, not as much as derivative, <laughs> Eric Lavra, Twilight Dream. Y'all think you're dreaming. Hey, Bruce Springsteen and his wife, uh, they were dreaming from home. They were supposed to go to the American Music Honors this weekend, but they both tested positive for the thing. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> why am I laughing? Dave, this is not funny. Okay. Um, these were the people who told us over and over again, that in order to get back into public life, in order to be able to participate and do things, that you had to go to CVS. The President of the United States, who Bruce Springsteen just received some kind of award from the other day, because I saw the pictures. Um, the President said, hey, not only have I gone to CVS, but I've been doubled up, tripled up, quadrupled, and I'm fine, even though I had to cancel all my events at the White House a couple of times because I got the thing. Well, Variety reports uh, that this event, a fundraiser, by the way, for the Bruce Springsteen Archives and the Center for American Music at Monmouth University. Yeah, that sounds like a real rock and roll kind of thing, doesn't it? Listen to this. The Bruce Springsteen Archives and the Center for American music at monmouth university very accessible for us grunts out here us deplorable types um the fundraiser went on as planned and i'm pretty sure that the people at the fundraiser were expecting bruce and his wife patty scalfa but they both tested positive for the thing and you know what's really weird is Springsteen just came off the first leg of his tour and he had a gig at the Prudential Center on April 14th. So I'm wondering, did Bruce have the thing while on tour? Because that might void a few contracts if he did. Yeah. Anyway, folks, um, Bob Santelli who is the Bruce Springsteen Archives Executive Director, told the disappointed crowd, <laughs> he told them, gee, I'm sorry, they're alive, he said. He said, they're alive, talking about Bruce and his wife. Don't overreact. You can still see them in concert. They're home sitting by the fire eating French onion soup. What? That's no remedy for this. Why didn't they go back to CVS? I mean, he should have said, don't worry, they're in the ICU. Seriously, they've been intubated. They're going to be great in six months. They're at home by the fire, eating French. That's not a remedy for this. Something has gone terribly wrong as the world um, quietly tries to return to its old self. The inaugural award show honored the E Street Band, including guitarist Stevie Van Zant, who said a lot of interesting things lately. Sam and Dave's Sam Moore, Darlene Love, and Steve Earle for their musical contributions. The Knights House Band, the Disciples of Soul, performed a medley of tunes, including Love's A Fine, Fine Boy. <clears throat> I don't know if that's an appropriate song these days. Um, <clears throat> the Sam and Dave hit soul sister brown sugar uh earl's hardcore troubadour and van zant's i am a patriot <laughs> he's a patriot all right <clears throat> the
The artists themselves also performed. Oh, so the house band performed songs by all these people who were honored. And then the artists themselves performed uh, Steve Earle doing Copperhead Road, um, Love um, performing uh, River Deep Mountain High, and then more performing I Thank You. And then Van Zant performing Bitter Fruit. The night ended with all four honorees on stage for a jam that included It's Been a Long Time Hungry Heart, Soul Man, 10th Avenue Freeze Out, and I Don't Want to Go Home. Interesting. So um, wasn't Stephen Van Zant on tour with Bruce Springsteen? So if Springsteen and his wife have the thing, then shouldn't Stephen Van Zant be in quarantine right now? I mean, where's the contact tracing? Where, where are the protocols? Are the protocols no longer in place? When did they just go away? There are contracts, folks. It's written into the insurance on the contract. I mean, these guys just threw caution to the wind here, folks. Uh, it's incredible. Hopefully, um, Bruce, his wife, little Steven, they all head out to Walgreens and update their status here. And I want to see proof. I want to see a QR code or some kind of a placard or a neon sign that says, hey, we're up to date. We did what we were supposed to do but we couldn't show up anyway. And this implies that like French onion soup and sitting by the fire is some kind of a remedy. We all know there's only one way to beat this. And that's by going to CVS multiple times in a year, right? All right, just wanted to get that straight. Anyway, um, here's some real Americana music right here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if these guys will ever be honored at uh, Springsteen's museum here, but uh, Eric Lovre or Lover, I, you know, the guy's gonna be like, oh man. Well, at least I'm promoting it, right? Um, go check out Dream About You um, if you like Tom Petty, like the second Tom Petty album and most of the Birds catalog, it's right there. It's fantastic, it's amazing. You're gonna love it. All right, I hope you love the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Patreon, folks, for a dollar a month, you patrons, I love you over there, and YouTube memberships for just a measly $2.99 per month. Until next time, I will see you then.